Welcome to Hacking the New BC Borders Shine. Hey, I'm Eric. And um, if you haven't watched my video on uh, the GPT stuff in, in BC, um, maybe you should. Uh, you can do that afterwards. This is kind of a, uh, it's not really a uh, you know, part two or anything. This is just a, a spin-off. Um, because one of the things that, you know, shiny thing sometimes you know fascinates people uh me included and and one of the things that we had in um with the new gpt stuff is a fancy border um and, and let me show you what i'm talking about um this guy so you move the mouse in zoom I want to do that. That is cool, but can I add that to my own things? Um, so I have been for the last way too long time um, goofing around and see if I could uh, do something with this. And uh, let me show you. Um, so this is this is what is known as a CSS animation. Um, and if we fire up the, the old, um, uh, let's see, let's see if we can get it in, in here. No, 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 I'm actually just bring it up like this. The, uh, uh, the dev tools thing then we can go and say we want to inspect something and we want to inspect well somewhere here and actually you saw it did you see that you, you, you gotta be uh, you gotta be quick so let me try to zoom in just a bit here um, and I will select the, I think I will select this one, the, this div, the MS nav band container. So what's, what's the space while I move the mouse here? See that? Um, so a typical way of, of CSS animations to, um, to be controlled is by adding a class. Um, so as soon as you add the class, you trigger the animation and then you create an event. And when the animation is done, you remove the class again. Um, and, and, and we can see that. So this is border shine dash 271. Um, so. Microsoft, as so many others are doing, is that you can see that this is dash one thirty five and something is just like so. So these classes keep changing names, um, probably to obfuscate them a bit. Um, so I think that if we can add the border shine class to a control then we should be able to get border shine on that control at least once. Uh, then we need to remove it again. Um, so I have written some code to do this, but I think what we can do, we can, let's just try here. Uh, let me, where, where can we go? Uh, so we know now that this is, what was it, border shine does 271. So if I go to the console and then we do document dot query selector. And then we need to select something, right? So we need to select something. Um, so the, the, the names of, of controls are being put into an attribute called control name. And we can ask that we are looking for something that has control name description. Uh, is it doc? Is it hang on? Is this window dot document? No, Eric. This is because this is so. I'm 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 getting. 
Query Selector Capital S. So now you see we select this, this guy. Um, so in theory, all we need to do is to do dot class list dot add. And you can see that I have already been playing with this borders shine as 271. Um, and if we are see that <laughs> um, so now I think we need to do a remove to get it away and then we can add it in again to get another thing isn't that cool I think it's cool uh, shiny things you know um, so so how can we do that in, from AL right I want, I want to do this from AL so I actually started writing some code before I, I turned on on the camera and um, what I did, let's start at the beginning. I created, and then we're on the, on the item card here. I created a user control just so I could get access to some JavaScript and I, and I added an action so I could call it. So this user control is very simple. It's just a script and a procedure called do it. Um, and let's find the script. So this is kind of weird. Uh, there's, there's some, some leftover stuff here that we don't need. So we can actually get rid of that to make it even. Well, I don't think it's nice, but, but and the start thing we don't need again. I was just, so the, the, the problem is that the, the 271 here, is dynamic. Um, so what you I can you can do is that because remember our JavaScript runs inside an iframe. So so if we take the window, well, that's our iframe. Then we go to parent. That's the parent page. And then we take the document. Then we can get all the style sheets that are on that document. So in this case, let's create a loop and a loop through all the style sheets in the document. So current sheet is one, right? and there's a hundred and I don't know how many 90 ish uh, style sheets on, on a, an average PC page. Um, and uh, for each style sheet, we then right now loop through the CSS rules. Uh, and then we look at the selector text for each rule and we look for a Selected text that start with dot border shine dash. Um, and um, then when um, then we're basically doing the same thing. So window dot parent document on query selector, we find in this case description, class list add, and then we are adding oops. We're, we're adding the selector text we just found, starting from character number two. This is zero indexed uh, because there's a dot and we don't need that. Um, and uh, that kind of means that if I click the function, it doesn't work. So let's see if we can get it to work again. Um, Let's see if we can get this to work. Let's let's deploy it. Let's deploy it. It might actually just be because my query selection that has multiple pages, uh, or because we already added it. Could be. Did I do a remove from the last one? I probably didn't. Um, so because I I don't right now add an event for. The animation being ending, so removing the class. This is kind of a one-shot thing. Okay, let's see. Test. Boom. There you go. Um, this is this is a super super. You can't really use this anywhere because uh, we're we're just trying to. So circumvent the uh, the obfuscation of these classes, um, and in this 
this could change, you know, any moment. Um, but I was just kind of curious to um, how this was done. Uh, so let's actually see what the class list is now. Uh, so now we can't find it. That happens sometime. Let's see if we can get this back. No, sometimes they just won't do this. But I think let's just for for fun try to go again. Items that because the. Uh, the UI layers these pages then you can have the same control in multiple places so it might run the animation in the background somewhere but here it works <laughs> anyway <laughs> this was turned out to, you know a short video and saying you, you you can do this and this was not a uh, a, uh, an hour-long video trying to figure out what is going on. So now I, I, I just showed you the result because I thought it was fun. It's probably not very usable at this point, but it is kind of interesting uh, that the concept of of adding animation. So so maybe we should actually try to create a, our own animation that we could could add into this. It, could be cool. Anyway, um, hope you enjoyed this and uh, go poke in uh, in shiny places. You never know what you'll find. Uh, if you poke here in this video, you'll find some good stuff. Check it out. I'll see you there. Take care. Bye.